Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You could subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Talia Sterile. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Man, I think I'm having to go through like pre menopause or something. I'm like hot all the time. It's just horrible. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Anyway, enough about that. You know what time it is, baby. Mm hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You may all not have a hot flash. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together just like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm going to get all decompressed here. Show! Oh, what was that? Okay. All right. Judgment. All right. Show! Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. All right. All right, Pisces. All right, down on the table, I've got Judgment. I've got the Six of Cups. The overall energy for the reading here is the Seven of Swords. So somebody here is trying to avoid a situation, okay, because somebody doesn't want to deal with something here. We've got Judgment down here on the table. Um, you know, Archangel Gabriel blowing torch, Ellie's trumpet, and uh, day, uh, honor of Day of Resurrection here. So basically, this is a wake-the-truck-up moment. What are you going to do? Judgment card is also a card of, you know, second chances here. But whatever it is, there's some things that this person uh, needs to deal with here in their life. We've got six cups down here on the table. Uh, this is, you know, this could be uh, this person thinking about you or this person b reflecting on their childhood. Okay. We've got the page of pentacles down here on the table. Okay. So basically right now your person's needs aren't being met is what they feel like, okay? And it's like, so this little boy comes up because he's hungry and he steals the Piscean potato, okay? So basically this person feels like their needs are not being met, okay? So what are we going to clarify first? Oh, judgment, you say? Okay, let's do judgment. All right. Why is judgment here? What's going on with this person under this judgment energy? What's going on with this person under the judgment energy here? Mm. Wow. Somebody's talking to this. Uh, this person's talking to a counselor here or a therapist or a pastor or a priest here about something. This is literally what the energy is. Okay. So what is this person talking to this counselor, pastor, or priest about, please? What's going on here? What are they talking to this pastor, counselor, or priest about, please? What are they talking about? Okay. Yeah. How they've been abandoned in life here. Mm-hmm. And how this person just wants attention is what's coming through here on this reading. Wow. This is pretty interesting here. So your person here is talking to a therapist or a counselor here about how they've been abandoned here in life, especially I feel like when it comes to their childhood, it's kind of what's screaming to me today in this reading here. And all this person has ever wanted was attention. And basically this person has never gotten enough attention here. Okay. So why did this person not get enough attention? Why did they not give? Yeah. The attention that this person got here. Okay was very unhealthy, very, it wasn't even attention. It was like they were abused, okay, verbally abused, okay? So this is what's coming through on this reading today. 
Man, I never know what I'm going to get here, guys. I, I don't. But I'm really getting that this person here was verbally abused growing up here, okay? And not talked to very well. And it made this person feel very pathetic. Made this person feel a lot of guilt, a lot of shame, a lot of sadness. So this person has basically feel like they, they've always felt like they have been the victim here, okay? Oh, my God. Wow, this is, uh, I never know what's going to come out in these readings. That's pretty sad. Oh, man. I'm kind of sad for this person. Oh, man. This is really sad energy here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I never know. Like I say, I just don't know. Okay. That's not good. That sucks. Hey, it happens to all of us, right? We all have, uh messed up childhood issues and traumas that we got to work through here. Some people will continue to work through these childhood traumas till the day they die. Uh, and then, you know, other, uh, others of us, you know, fortunately are able to work through these traumas, you know, at an earlier age here. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we focused on, you know, people actually talking to counselors and mental health a little bit more, people could be healed here from their childhood traumas by their 20s or their 30s. Instead of growing up here all their life, you know, basically um, with dealing with those issues all the way up until, you know, what, 50, 60, 70, you know, some people are still, some people will never ever deal with their childhood traumas because, you know, they just don't know how to. And not only that, but there was a lot of bad bad stuff around, you know, like back in the day, anybody that was born, you know, what, in the 50s, the 60s, uh, you know, that was looked at as not good, right? That you had a real problem. So people had to just act like they were fine, you know, and everything was fine when all actual reality, it wasn't. So, and then people start to, what, Numb, them, numb themselves or do other kinds of weird things. Oh, my God. Okay. So, what is this person's basic needs that are not being met? What is this person's basic needs that are not being met, please? What is this person's basic needs that are not being met right now? What is this person's basic needs that are not being met right now? What is this person's basic needs that are not being met right now? Boy. Boy. The moon card. Mmm, boy. I'm getting a weird energy off of this. I'm almost feeling like this person doesn't even really know. I, I feel like they're... Or they're hiding it here. Okay, let's go one more on the moon. Let's squeeze some juice out of this one. Come on, let's go one more on the moon with this page of pentacles for their basic needs not being meant, please. Yeah. All it's telling me right now is that this person is honestly going through hell. Yeah, this that's it's what's coming in on the reading, okay? It is a general reading. But what is going on right now is that, that they just are saying that I'm going through hell right now. I'm having a hard time in life. Things are not going good. And I feel like this person is saying to themselves, like, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for, you know, to meet my maker. I'm ready for judgment day. You know, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Oh, this is horribly sad. This is really, really sad, Pisces. Somebody's already like, you know, I'm ready to come home to Jesus kind of moment. Come, I'm coming home to Jesus. I'm Jesus is going to take me. I'm going to come home to Jesus. I'm getting the energy. I don't know why I'm getting it. Please don't yell at me here. I Come on, quit calling me. I got to, Jesus, my phone is blowing up. I will call back in just a minute here. Okay, so let's talk to the six cups here. What's going on here with this person's, uh, what, what's going on? What's the six cups down here on the table for what is the six cups going down here on the table? Let's get one more with the six cups to the king of pentacles. Six cups to the king of pentacles. And financially, this person is suffering. They've pissed off a lot of people. And now this person is suffering the consequences of their own action 
actions towards others here. Oh my God, Pisces. This is uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Hold on a second here. I gotta do, I gotta move this. I can't deal with this. Give me just a second. My phone's going crazy. I know, I'm, this is insanity. Please just give me a minute here. Oh my God, Pisces. Wow. So this is a pretty interesting reading. You guys are going to know this situation better than I am. I'm just reading the energies. I'm going to go ahead, clear it off with White Sage. See what else this person wants to tell you here. I feel like this person is desiring something here. There's a desire, okay? This person is definitely very guarded. And what else do we got? And I feel like this person's going through a lot of heartbreak. Wow, I never know what kind of reading I'm going to get here, guys. So I love you, and I'm sending my good energy to this poor person. Adjourned.